up tonight on Fox 11 News at 5. The man allegedly involved in the disappearance of a three-year-old boy in the Two Rivers area returned to court on child neglect charges. The motion comes as the search for Elijah Vu continues. Balance News and severe weather coverage. This is Fox 11 News at 5. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us tonight at 5. Jesse Vang was back inside of a Manitowoc County courtroom today. Now, Vang, the man who was supervising three-year-old Elijah Vu before the boy went missing, is charged with chronic child neglect. Fox 11's Andrew Mertens was in court and brings us the latest developments. We'd waive any formal reading, preserve jurisdictional objections, and enter a not guilty plea. Jesse Vang pleading not guilty during Tuesday's extremely brief hearing. Vang, who appeared in person for the first time earlier this month, instead appeared virtually Tuesday. A trial date has not yet been set. Prosecutors say there's a lot of evidence to comb through. If convicted of chronic child neglect, Vang faces up to six years in prison and a $10,000 fine. Vang is not charged in the disappearance of three-year-old Elijah Vu. According to the criminal complaint, Elijah was sent to stay with Vang by his mother, Katrina Bauer, for disciplinary reasons. In that complaint, Vang allegedly told police one form of punishment was to make Elijah stand and pray for periods of time ranging from one to three hours. Vu was reported missing on February 20th in Two Rivers and has yet to be found. I really feel that, you know, he is with our Lord and Savior, I really do. Um, because if there was any other sign, somebody would have spoken up, you know, there's $40,000 out there, um, you know, up for grabs right now if somebody would say something. And um, there's only two people in this whole wide world who know where, he, where he's at. In an interview with Fox 11 last week, Two Rivers Police said they've narrowed their search down to a 15 to 20 square mile radius in and around the Two Rivers area. Yolanda Godfrey, a volunteer who has been helping search for Elijah, says that was her gut feeling from the beginning. As much as all the volunteers have walked the miles and we've driven and, you know, just all over the place, um, I just feel that we've passed him plenty of times. Vang won't be back in court until two months from now. He'll return on June 28th. In Manitowoc, Andrew Mertens, Fox 11 News. Katrina Bauer, Elijah's mother, returns to court next week. Bauer pleaded not guilty to child neglect charges last month. In total, she is facing four charges. A trial date has not yet been set. Bauer returns to court Friday, April 26th. So, obviously very, very quick today. And we're, this is um, his next appearance isn't going to be for another two months. So right. can you just kind of talk about that in your, you know, reaction for you as a person you've been here almost every step of the way missing just the, his last his yeah last right exactly and I mean I almost kind of feel like we're like dragging this out um I'm, I mean I understand the due process and you know he um has his rights and and so forth and whatnot but again I just kind of feel like we're we're just dragging it out um you know just tell us where he is that's it just tell us where he is yeah, and with that, just tell us where he is. So we've heard a little bit more, mm -hmm. all of us out we've heard a little more from the police in the last week about yeah. you know, them, them focusing their efforts in Manitowoc mm -hmm. County. You know, you were talking before the hearing about, you know, that was kind of your gut feeling. Yeah, and yeah, and that has been since day one. Um, you know, after 24 hours, 48, 72 hours, um, my gut was always that he is in Manitowoc County. I solely believe that he is... Um, is by us and he's close um, and that's the real crappy part about it is because I mean as much as all the volunteers have walked the miles and we've driven and you know just all over the place um, I just feel that we've passed him plenty of times and you know just to put a pinpoint of you know I, I hate to speak like you know in the past you know like but I'm being realistic, you know what I mean? Um, as uh, the chief said, he didn't walk off and he was not kidnapped. So, you know, that tells me that, um, and everybody else, you know, he's, he's, he's around here. He is, he's around here. And we're not gonna stop. I say that and, and I'll keep saying it. We're not gonna stop. It's gonna be boots on the ground and you know, the weather's getting nicer so more people are out and about. So, um, so yeah, we're not gonna stop. Um, we love that little boy. We do. We don't even know him, but, you know, we're all parents. Most of us are parents, grandparents, you know, so we just feel, um, we feel him. We do. We just, um, we need to be closer to get to him. Um, so, so, yeah. 
we'll just keep doing what we got to do. We'll be here at all the court hearings and um, and whatever we got to do. So, yeah. Do you think you'll find yourself retracing your steps? Oh, you absolutely. Yeah. And I mean, we have, you know, um, we, we've gone over and over um, a couple different spots just, just to relook again. Um, so whatever we got to do, we'll do. Um, wherever they send us, you know, we have our map and we look and we see, you know, where we've gone. Do we need to go back there? Um, so. So yeah, we put our heads together and uh, we'll do it. Yeah. You kept talking about a feeling in your gut. What's yeah. that feeling telling you as far as what happened to Elijah? It's just, um, you know, I feel my personal feelings. Um, I feel that something bad happened to him. Um, and I really feel that, you know, he is with our Lord and Savior. I really do. Um, because if there was any other signs, somebody would have spoken up, you know, there's $40,000 out there, um, you know, up for grabs right now if somebody would say something. And um, there's only two people in this whole wide world who know where he, where he's at, you know, so um, it's just a matter of talking. Kind of to piggyback off of that, you know, as each hearing goes on, you know, we, we don't hear hearing really more mm -hmm. from them on, you know, maybe if, if if they know where, you know, is that getting more and more frustrating for you? Oh, it even is. Even especially it, for you as a parent. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Of course, it's been frustrating since, since day one, you know. Um, again, um, they have their right to, you know, their due process, and, and, I, and I get that, you know, but um, for her, that's your three-year-old son. You gave birth to him, you carried him for nine months, and, you know, I feel it's just kind of like a piece of trash to you, eh, whatever. And that's not right, you know, and especially when you got all of Manitowoc County and people for, for I mean, as far as way, I, I walked with a guy last week from La Crosse. He drove four hours to come here, you know, and do a search with us, whether or not it lasted an hour or two, he still came, you know, because he felt that and, you know, like we all do. Uh, and we just want answers, that's it. We deserve answers, you know. Um, we're going on two months on Saturday and we still haven't produced this little boy, you know. I'm. There's something wrong with that picture, so. Do you at least see a light at the end of the tunnel? Do you see this? You know, I do, eventually, here, yeah, you know, eventually, eventually. I don't know when that's gonna be, you know. I mean, none of us know when that's gonna be. But, you know, um, he'll be brought home one way or the other. I do feel that. Um, it's just, um, it's taken some time, and you know what? That's fine. I mean, we all have time. I have more time than money, so, <laughs> you know, I will do whatever I have to do um, and, and with the rest of the volunteers to, um, to get out there and look for them. So, yeah, and we're not going to stop. We're just not going to stop. Right. So, As time drags on, what keeps everybody motivated? It's hope. It is. You know, um, we hope every single day that we walk into the Bacado, um, maybe today's going to be the day, you know, and if you don't keep your spirits up and some kind of hope alive, then, you know, you're just kind of walking around with your head down and, you know, just feeling, I mean, I feel sorry for the kid as it is, you know, so, and the family and everything that they're going through. I see it week after week, you know, um, I've gotten pretty close to the family, you know, and got to know them and um, their hearts are broken, you know, I mean, it, they're absolutely broken. They just want him home just like we do, you know, and, and again, he's not our family. He's their family, you know, so somebody needs to speak up. And that'd be nice. But yeah. I guess, think, oops, sorry, go ahead. Yeah. Do you think that like any any hope has been lost? Um, um, probably a little bit, you know. Of course as the weeks go on it dwindles down a little bit. You you do lose hope. You know, I can't say that that I haven't, you know, myself, but you know, I I get up every single day. He's the first thing that I think about when I wake up first thing, you know, when I go to sleep at night, you know, but I always say we're gonna find them, you know. Maybe today's the day, but yeah, you, you just can't lose hope. We have to bring them home. Everyone else is. Yeah, was there anything else that you wanted to add? No, just you know, we love him. We do as a community. We absolutely love that little boy, and um, we just hope that he's in good hands. You know. So. Yeah. 